Hello Internet and welcome to another one of my videos, this time all about making a contact form that actually sends the email. So if you're anything like me and love to watch web dev tutorials, you might notice there's so much out there on the internet about contact forms, how to create them, so how to make them in HTML and CSS, but there's not that much out there about how to actually, you know, like link up the logic for it to do something. So I am here to show you how to do that in a super simple way. I'm going to be doing this with HTML and just HTML. Okay, so I'm going to be making the contact form in HTML. I'm going to be then choosing what kind of inputs I want to have. So perhaps I want to have like a first name input and then an email input so the person can put in their email so I know to email them back. And then just like a little text form or something. And then a submit button. Now, the submit button will essentially send whatever we put in to your email address. So we'll be testing that out too and then send you to a thank you page. This tutorial is a great way to essentially hide your email address to the, I guess, average user's eyes. So we're going to be taking away the email address that you sometimes put on mm -hmm. your static web page and hiding it behind a form. Okay, so if you inspect the page, it's going to be there. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. If not, don't worry because I'm going to be showing you how to do this step by step. Contact form, let's go. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot as that is how I can keep creating more content for you guys. So thanks very much and let's do it. Okay, so to start off, I just have a simple HTML file in my project that I have called contact form. It's just got some basic boilerplate HTML for us. This is what we're going to start with. Let's go. Now, the first thing that I want to do is actually refer to the documentation that I'm going to be using. For this, I'm going to be using form submit. I'm using form submit for no other reason than it's the only one that I really know that allows me to edit the thank you forwarding page relatively easily. They are free to use, so if you do use them, please go ahead and sponsor them, support them. I really do appreciate anyone who opens up their work to us like this. Form Submit essentially allows us to connect our form to their form endpoint, and they will email out the submissions for us. So this is going to be super easy. Like I said, we are just going to be using HTML. There are some other options available, but what's the point? I mean, HTML is the easiest. Let's go ahead and do that. So to start off, I'm simply going to copy this here and put it in our project. So this will essentially create a form for us with an action that uses the form submit endpoint. And I'm just going to put my email address in here. So I'm just going to put in my generic email address that I use so people can contact me. And don't forget to keep the method as post. OK, so if I now save this file and view this in the browser, so I'm just going to get our browser up. That's what you will see. That is just a basic form that we can have. All I've done is left an input for our name that is required and an input for the email that is required, and then a button to send. So before we carry on doing this, I'm just going to show you how you can personalize this a little bit further. So we can have a thank you page so that if we submit, it can take us to our own personal thank you page that we have met. The default is just taking you to form submits thank you page. So if we have a look at the docs here, we are using the action attribute to essentially enable submissions to be sent to our email address. And next, we also have an explanation as to what the input tag is and what we have put in our code. So the other things that we can personalize are, for example, if we want to include a reply to. So if we want to make this required. So for example, I can put this in here and what I will be doing with this is actually asking the user to put in their email address so I can email them back. So now let's refresh our contact form. And there we go. 
So now I am required to put in my email address in order to send my form. If I try send it without it, I will get a little message show up. That is because we put required. I'm just gonna make this smaller for now. So that is one thing that I've decided that I want to have. Another thing that we have is, for example, the thank you page. So I think it's quite nice to have a personalized thank you page. So I'm gonna put that in here too. It really is that simple. And then I would just simply put my domain name and the file of choice. So I know that I'm gonna be deploying this onto Ania Kubo com and let's make this a thank you page like so so now i'm going to actually have to make that thank you page so let's go in here and i'm just going to create a thank you html file let's put in some boilerplate so i'm just simply going to copy that paste this here get rid of the form and let's call this thank you page and then in here, I'm just gonna have an H1 tag that says, thank you. This is just gonna be super basic because I'm sure you'd like to do the styling yourself. Um, I could also put this in a pages folder just to make things a bit neater and more realistic. So now the thank you HTML file is in the pages folder. And if I go here, well, I just have to put pages like so. I'm just gonna make this smaller so you can see. We can also choose to have a subject. So I can choose for a subject to be essentially hard coded for us when we receive the email. So I can even put new email, Ooh, like so. And of course, a bunch of other things, auto response, template, and so on. We can even choose to upload files, but I'll leave you to do that by yourself. Okay, so let's look back here. I can get rid of this as this is a duplicate of this one right here. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. And the text input, once again, I'm just gonna put a place, I'm just gonna put a placeholder here so we can see in the browser what this is for. Write your message here. And then we can have other stuff, for example, a first name and so on. We can make this bigger. But as this is just a quick uh, tutorial, I think this should be fine. OK, so now let's actually deploy this onto the Internet in order to hook it up. And so our form works and so that we get redirected to the thank you page on my domain. So I'm just going to use Hostinger to do this just purely because I already have a site that I own on here and I want to essentially host it on anyakubo.com. So I've previously bought this. So I'm just going to manage my site and put the files that we have just written on it. So this will take a short second. I'm simply going to upload my file, select the file and in my contact form project, just going to upload the files. So I'm uploading the index HTML page. I'm just gonna do this one by one for you that we made. And then I'm also going to create a directory called pages. So I'm literally just copying the structure that we had in our project. And then once again, I'm just gonna upload the thank you page and upload like so. Great. So now if we visit anyakubo.com, you will see our project now lives on this domain. And if I write an email, so for example, let's put joeblogs at gmail.com wants to message me and he wants to email me something. He wants to say, Hi, I like your videos, for example. So all we are doing, if I inspect the page, is we are getting rid of my email to be visible from the user's eye, but we can actually still inspect it 
we're simply just putting it here instead okay so you know if you're a dev or you're someone who knows what you're looking for and able to look then of course people can see your email but you know it's nice not to have it on your page okay so let's click send ah i need to activate this first before using it so let's go ahead and do that okay let's try again and send we can actually get rid of this recapture from form submit completely so that it's just our own branding the whole way through i'll show you how to do this even though it's not recommended so stick with me got a filter and we are directed to the thank you page that we made see it's the correct path and everything and then of course let's check our email you will see there is an email with the title new email woo and if you look into the email you will see that someone submitted an email on the website the email will do blogs and the message was hi i like your videos amazing if you want to get rid of any external branding you can disable the recapture However, it is not really recommended because it does help to avoid some technical limitations which form submit impose from time to time in order to filter out bots, spam and other malicious programs. But you know, if we really wanted to, I'm just going to show you what that will look like. I'm going to take that line here and then I'm going to go back into my project that I am hosting online. I'm going to go into my domains get Annie Kubo, and then just find my index HTML file and actually edit it from here. So I'm just going to post it like so and click save. Okay. So now if we go to my website and I'm just going to put Joe blogs, second email, click send, and you will see it goes straight to the thank you page. So hopefully you found this useful. It's just a quick tutorial that I wanted to show you. I like form submit. However, there are a few others out there. So if you have another one, please do comment in the description below. I'd love to check it out too. Thanks so much again for watching and I'll see you soon.